Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. One all draw with Poland, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just been a long day in work or whatever. Uh, how do you sum that game up? Um, look, overall, decent result performance while the game certainly had a, a huge huge friendly mentality to it uh, i thought the game was quite dead quite slow almost at a walking pace at times but you have to say there was certainly huge improvements um you know we never claimed to have the best squad in the world but you know they, they definitely look like a, a squad that had done a done a decent amount of time together on the coaching field they looked like they knew what they were doing i liked the formation um, I think three at the back kind of brings the best out of us. We, to be fair, you have to hand to them. We've been very critical a lot of times, but we passed the ball quite well. Um, and even you know, even at half time, we had more of the possession. Now, it didn't really create a lot. That was it. But you know, it was it was a positive positive reaction. There's been a hell of a lot of doom and doom and gloom and negativity the last couple of days around the squad, and there was definitely a reaction there. Um. We, you know, we moved the ball around a bit. We looked like we had a bit of a shape to ourselves. We looked like we actually knew what we were doing. We looked like we were, we wanted to pass the ball. I think the team proved that it's capable of passing the ball as well. Um, and it was definitely a hell of a lot better than what we've what we've witnessed lately. A um, couple of changes with the team, and they, to be fair, worked very well. I thought O'Brien up front. Uh, at last, we had a focal point. Now, you could see, particularly in the first half, we were kind of one step off. We weren't really reading the second ball. Sometimes it was maybe a sluggish touch or whatever. We definitely didn't pick up on the loose ball. The second ball's breaking around. But but by and large, he definitely added a lot more structure to to our team. And, you know, people will argue, was it 3-5-2? Was it 3-5-1-1? Um, I thought it was more of a 3-5-2. Uh, at times, you know, we did push back or whatever. But it definitely had looked a lot of bit of structure. The three centre halves look very composed, look very comfortable. Um, apart from the numbers, you know, what what the hell, you know, John Egan is a good friend of the show and all that. Uh, but centre half wearing ten, you know, back to the Gallus days, are we? Um, he had a very good game to be fair. John looked very very comfortable on the ball. Always looked like he wanted the ball. And to be fair, as did Keown and and Long beside him. Um, you know, Williams in in, in midfield for me is kind of, you know, it's yes. A very good game but it feels like such a negative doom and gloom it feels like another Irish player that has you know has a, a an international career wasted on him that never got those opportunities uh, it feels like just another one to that list and we can go on and on and on and th that's probably a discussion for another day but you know he had a very good Williams had a very good game you know I thought he was quite comfortable in front of the back three I thought he showed a very good range of passing I thought he showed a lot of potential despite his age perhaps um, definitely short term and it was definitely a huge improvement and then you know Hendrick and O'Dowd were busy beside him Robinson was busy but you know the first half while we did have a good bit of possession um, it was more of kind of a, a calmness really and it was just not another batter and not another horror show, show that we you know that we've witnessed lately um, you know a couple of half chances I think there was there was a kind of a O'Brien flash chance from a from a long Christie show a throw um, you know, a couple of other bits and pieces, but you know, not really a hell of a lot. And I don't think we had a shot and target at half time. Um, we definitely grew into the game a lot more into the second half. Then you could tell there was a good bit of confidence uh, coming through. And you know, I was just watching it there, and I was just thinking to myself just right before the before our opening goal that you know, Jesus, this team looks a lot more coach. You know, and I was just thinking to myself, geez, we've bashed this management um a team for for not showing a you know. You know, getting a bit of structure on the team, and you know, not getting the team composed, and you know, we were we were very much that, and we grew into the game, and a couple of you know, a couple of chances, and you know, eventually we get a we set piece. It's very well worked set piece, and I got a bit of flashbacks to the to the Brady goal against Italy, but a nice nice move by Henrik and uh, and O'Dowd, who's done who's done very well. You know, cut inside and whips it in, and O'Brien gets the goal that his performance probably uh, probably deserved, and you know, delighted for the kid. Um, um, you know, ran the line pretty well and, you know, a decent finish. You could see it meant a lot to him. You could see a, a huge sense of relief amongst the supporters and amongst all the team. You know, they're all together in a long huddle afterwards. And, you know, I thought after that we were getting more and more comfortable. You know, we didn't set the world alight, but, 
you know, I thought I thought things were were going pretty okay, and I thought that we added a bit of structure. We made a couple of changes. I thought we kept into the game. I thought, you know, I thought Darty did okay when he came on. You know, um, we we shored up the midfield a bit. Um, you know, you thought, you know, I actually thought we looked like we looked like we were going to close out the game. I thought, you know, we zapped the life out of the game, and it was interesting to note, like in the first half, it was us probably doing the time wasted more than Andrew, and really, really got up the noses of the home supporters. You know, it was nearly the other way around. You know, we, we zapped the game so dead. You know, there was when the goal went in, they seemed a huge, a uh, lot of uh, angry emotion, I suppose, very similar to what we've witnessed lately. And a lot of frustration in, in the Polish camp. And, you know, I thought we were going to close this out. I thought this was done. You're waiting for the whistle. And then, give away a terrible goal. A terrible, terrible. There's no way you should be getting the goal away from a situation like that. Had control of the ball in the middle of the pitch. Lost it sloppy and then completely got run over. Guy's he's out of position left, right and centre. How there's such a hole in front of the goal but, but a back three is beyond me. It's mistake after mistake after mistake and then the kid, you know, finishes well. And it's... Look, a draw isn't the end of the... End of the you know, the worst draw in the, in the world. It feels just like we really, really could have done with that win. Uh, after the last couple of days, is after the last couple of days of just torture and torture and, you know, it kind of sums up the game that's I'm probably a little bit flat a little bit dead it would have been a decent performance it would have been a decent step and stone again as a repeat not the end of the world perhaps we've shown and you know a different edge I think O'Neill has kind of he's probably pr- proved in his mind I can see I haven't watched the match interviews uh, the post match interviews you know just recording this just after the game here but I have a feeling he's going to say now look this is as a result of us spending time together blah 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 yeah, you you can certainly see that to a to a certain aspect, and you know we definitely did look as as much structured as we have in a long time. Let's hope that continues. Uh, let's hope we you know we build on this, um, and just that get rid of that negativity out of the group, and let's hope there's no more WhatsApp <laughs> messages, etc. But no, if we, like there's definitely room for shows of kind of room for improvement a little glimpse to the future i just think that three the back kind of suits us and if we can get playing a bit ball a bit more i think that team showed it i think there's a lot of a lot of players to be added into that team as well that will thrive a little more a little bit little bit more under possession of the football and you know maybe there's life at the end of the tunnel yet anyways that's been my match reaction and um, make sure you you know give us give us your your thoughts in the comments below let us know what you thought of the game were you happy? Were you disappointed? Were you a little bit me, a little bit meh? But uh, onwards and upwards. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all our social media platforms. Um, like the page, etc, etc, etc. And uh, we will talk to you all very soon.